Hello, Mario. CS000 Infrastructure Guru Assessment Briefing. Well, hello. And welcome to the Infrastructure Guru Assessment Briefing. Infrastructure. That's all of the bits and pieces of things that we as civil engineers uh, install, particularly in roading and subdivision type situations. So um, you can see here a photograph of an infrastructure in installation um, from my uh, doom and distant past. Uh, here we have um, some, um, the orange ducks are power cables. Um, so that's uh, sort of high voltage or um, low voltage. Uh, I think they're sort of not ultra high voltage, but there. And then these uh, white ducts here, which are coming in here, some bypassing uh, as yet to be installed here, are ELV. So that's extra low voltage. So there are a lot of our telemetry uh, situations here. Um, we had to get the two sets of ducts, the, the low voltage, I think, uh, had to be 300 mils uh, separate from the ELV. Um, in through here, we have um, so, uh, a, sewer, a sewer coming in and uh, various other sort of um, things. We might even um, have a, uh, a manhole up in here uh, for the sewer, uh, sewer connections. Uh, and uh, stormwater as well by the um, by the look of it there. So quite a complex um, setup there um, in, a, in, a, in a very small space. So all of this material in here had to be uh, designed, had to be put in, had to be as built and uh, connected up. You can see some connections here uh, coming out of the building. Possibly um, they will... Um, be connected in some way or another uh, to one of these pits. Um, so there's actually, um, I don't know why there's, can't think why there's two sets of pits there, but um, yeah, uh, interesting. And then all of these have lids and things to go on them, as well as, um, can't see it in this one, but there's water as well to um, all be put in. So um, it's important that we have a good, clear understanding of various aspects of um, infrastructure and uh, their correct names and um, details of how and when and where and why. Um, so a set of lifting chains in here for lifting the chambers and some wooden lids on there to keep um, dirt out of the chambers um, so that... Uh, we don't have to spend a lot of time cleaning them up uh, once they've been backfilled and such like. So um, let's uh, just have a look at this um, particular uh, assessment briefing. Um, it's just uh, for um, one of the um, weekly tasks, so it's quite uh, important. So um, let's um, let's uh, we'll we'll uh, have a look here and. Um, go and uh, find the the actual task so it's going to be in civil and structural drawing as we are where what we're talking about that's our um, subject and the actual tasks themselves um, are under um, well they're under assessment but this one particular one is in session one so it's one of the first ones there session one and here it is CS000 Infrastructure Guru, uh, and that's going in, in there, so that's in session one. And if we click in there, we'll find that uh, there we have the um, PDF um, version of it. So we can um, possibly, um, now this is in, um, we're doing this in Moodle, so we can just make this a little bit um, bigger here. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, for assessment purposes, each of the tasks below will be treated as a separate task. So um, I have got weekly tasks, but these, um, although they're one 
big task uh, is be in five parts, and each part will have the same status as um, a task. So, infrastructure guru. Now, a guru is a person that knows everything about things. That's the go-to person. They know exactly uh, everything. <laughs> and so the intention is that you, uh, each student, will um, choose one piece of infrastructure from the, uh, from the list. Um, and the list here is on the uh, second page of the document here. So here's some, uh, here's some um, lists. Now, these, um, each of these things here refer to a plan in the Hamilton City Council Infrastructure Technical Specifications. So uh, D3.1, Transport Terminology. So the Transport Terminology Guru will be um, responsible for um, all terminology related to transport and similarly roading terminology. So each person will put their name against one of these things. Now there's um, 32 of them there. So when we run out, um, we might have to look for others, but I think that should be enough for everybody in the class to have one. So you can see double sump catch pit design, catch pit back entry details, uh, vertical entry catch pit. So each of these has a plan and your job, and first up, is to write your name beside one piece of infrastructure on the master list. Um, which I will uh, have, uh, you will be the guru for that piece of infrastructure for the entire course. So if ever there's a question about, let's say, transport terminology, we will ask you, because you're the guru. You're the uh, guru for this course. Um, it's your job to find out everything you can about that item. Now, I, as a tutor may be able to help, but there's obviously um, Google, uh, there's the infrastructure technical specification, there's other people, you can talk to other tutors, all sorts of things that you can do to find out every little scrap of information about your chosen piece of infrastructure. All right, so when a question comes up about that item, you you will be asked to answer the question. Questions could come from other students, tutors, at any time, face-to-face, -face, by email, or message. You will be responsible. So, um, as I said, we'll just uh, have a quick uh, revisit of where the different things are, and um, you will have a hard copy version of this to refer to. So, pedestrian crossings. All right. So, um, let's just uh, see if we can locate the plans. So, we'll go to a new window and we'll go uh, Hamilton, Hamilton City Council uh, Infrastructure. Infrastructure Technical Specifications. So it's come up there on my Google, or whether it will on yours or not, I don't know. And um, so let's just click on there and uh, let's just go down the rabbit hole, so to speak. So I'll click there and you should come up to something like this. Now what you'll find is um, Section 2, um, I think we started at the... the you can see that there's the first lot of plans here is in section three, transport drawings, appendix E. So that's it there. Okay, and um, what you can either download the PDF um, or um, so here we have this is drawing number D3.1, which is terminology. All right, so um, we'll, um, what we'll do is, now what I'd like to do is to rotate that one, but I don't know, oh yes, perhaps I can, rotate clockwise. 
So there it is there, D3.1.1, uh, as we um, just uh, refer to here, and drop down to here, transportation terminology, D3.1.1. So there you are, we have it. So there's the plan associated with it, and you can see that there's lots of terminology on there, and that you as a guru will have to um, have some information about. Okay, so you've got uh, formation width there. Okay, um, legal road, boundary to boundary. Um, the berm, the footpath, the berm. Face of curb, lip of curb, crown, crossfall. All of these little bits of terminology will need to be, um, well, you will need to explain them or have a good understanding of them. Base course. Okay, typically TNZ M4 AP40. Well, what does all that mean? TNZ, Transit New Zealand, M4, um, possibly a grade of trip, AP40, all passing 40 millimeter, or GAP2, um, general all passing. So GAP40 or GAP65. So you will have to have a good understanding of this whole map and what it is, natural subgrade. What's natural subgrade? What's imported subgrade? Uh, surfacing, what do they mean by that? What's two coat chip seal? Uh, asphalt. All of these things you will need to be explained because you potentially could ask questions for them. Now you'll see here also that there are... Um, Roading terminology, so um, we can go to here and, um, well, we can spin this one back again. Um, so that's a, this is uh, D3.1. So there will be another guru responsible to this. They will need to be able to explain the boundary, curb and channel, catch pit, vehicle crossing, details of stage, tactile pavers. What's the story there? What direction do they think? Now, there will be some overlap, so you might want to talk to um, the other per another person who's sort of a guru in another area and compare notes, make sure you've got them all right. So that's, um, that's pretty much selecting your bit of infrastructure uh, and finding out you know, the first detail about it. Then it's a matter of doing some research from there and going... A little bit further and finding out some more details so that's the first task is to put your name up there the second task is to do some research and you're to compile a referenced list of research material about your chosen topic now this is a, a first time that I've tried this assessment so there isn't too much background information you will be setting the standard so um, you know, how we format things and that might be to some extent up to you. Um, you'll have to liaise with other people and see what they're doing. We want a sort of consistent result, so we'll be working on that. You'll perhaps need to come back and talk talk to me about that at different times. Um, the links on your list should be live, so um, there might be hyperlinks so that you can click on them and go to the actual, actual link. Um, your research material, you have to try and find a way of making it available to others. Um, that may be um, by way of a, um, a, a document, or um, we may have to may want to um, be able to put it onto the Moodle site somehow, or onto another uh, another particular site um, that we can use. So you you need to work on that and see how that's going to work, and. Um, your name should be on it should be associated with it so we should know that you have compiled the list and you have made it up now the next um, thing is to find a real life example or examples of your piece of infrastructure so you'll need to find and locate a real example so that you probably need to take a photograph or a video and some diagrams explain how it um, relates to the plan you know where the bits are and uh, document the location so um, 
people should be able to go there and see it live and examine it as a good example. So you might find some examples, but they might not be good examples. So you might want need to search around a little bit till you find one that meets all of the requirements or meets your requirements. So we need to find a real life example and to document how to get there and that sort of thing. I imagine that would, um, you know, there'd be some diagrams and things like that, all in a digital sort of uh, format. Uh, we work in a digital world, so um, everything uh, needs to be digital. Um, there, you're studying CAD. Um, you may make some notes in the field, but uh, they should be drawn up in a neat and tidy manner. Now, the fourth um, part of this is a poster. Compile an A2 poster about your chosen piece of infrastructure in a digital format. Your poster must include references to your findings. Print out your poster on A2 paper for display to the class, and your name must be on the poster. Now, what I have done here in the... Um, I'll just go back here. Um, I have made some poster design resource available here. So if you just uh, click on here, um, you'll find that there's some notes on poster design and <clears throat> one four videos on creating posters, particularly uh, large scale posters uh, using PowerPoint. Now, uh, these posters, uh, the intention, these are scientific posters. Um, these are quite a common um, occurrence in the scientific uh, and research uh, world that um, we work in. Um, you'll notice that students doing their final year projects are required to do a, to do a poster. And that's uh, part of it. It's a good way of promoting your um, your work, your research, and your findings. <clears throat> so your poster will be related to these bits of infrastructure. We need them in a digital format. My intention is that we would put all of the posters uh, in a single place so that people could um, search through the information about each of the various items of infrastructure. And finally, a presentation. You'll prepare a three to five minute presentation about your piece of infrastructure in a digital format. Um, so that couldn't be um, a PowerPoint. Um, it could include videos and photographs, um, CAD plans and drawings, but in a digital format. Um, your, mes your, your presentation, um, you will be presenting to the class in a multimedia format. So that could be face-to-face uh, -face from your point of view. You may <clears throat> you may create your own video. If face-to-face -face is not your thing, you may be able to uh, create a video similar to the ones that I, um, or to this one that I'm doing here. Quite happy, I'm quite happy to help you with that um, technology-wise and software-wise. Um, you may make a, f a video with your cell phone or whatever, or you may do a face-to-face -face live in-person presentation. Totally up to you. Uh, some of you may have um, cartooning skills or something like that. I don't know, but you're free to uh, do. But it's a three to five minute presentation. Uh, it must include references, and um, you must answer, take questions on it at the end. So. Um, answer questions, and uh, your name must be associated with it. So that's the uh, five items uh, there. I think I've shown you where to find them and given you a pretty good idea uh, of what I, uh, what I require. Um, you may, of course, um, need further information on this. So you need to work with me, and uh, we can uh, talk about these things and get them together and get them um, prepared. Uh, and also um, bring your questions to class um, at question time in class, Q&A time, um, so that we can um, update, if necessary, our requirements uh, for the 
uh, infrastructure uh, guru uh, assess uh, assessment. So, uh, there you are. That's the infrastructure guru assessment. A bit of a briefing on that, um, some ideas and concepts. Um, I hope that uh, you take this on board and, uh, and run with it. And um, we come up with a very useful um, product and a useful exercise so that everyone can get to know infrastructure and inf information about them because um, it is uh, very important that um, this is a large part of, sim of civil engineering is um, putting various bits of infrastructure in place to function uh, as they should. Alrighty, there you have it. Cheers, see you.